Okay, when we first learn about coordinates, we learn about Cartesian coordinates. So the point P, for example, would be uh, 2.5, 4.33 at the moment. Now, there's another way of writing coordinates, which are called polar coordinates. Now, for polar coordinates, you need to know the length of the line and the angle. Now, the angle is measured from here, going round to here in radians to this point here, which is pi, 180. And then going in these two quadrants, the angle is considered to be uh, negative. And so we go to, so the angle goes from minus pi, not including minus pi, up until pi, but including pi on this one. Okay, so at the moment, if I wanted to write uh, this one in uh, 2.3, 4.33, then if I want to put it into Cartesian form, then I'd have to find the value of R. To find the value of R, just a simple application of Pythagoras' theorem. So in this case, it would be 2.5 uh, squared plus 4.33 squared. These have been rounded off. Okay, and that will give me 5. And the angle would be arc tan of this distance divided by this distance, which in this case, it happens to be uh, 1 over 3 pi or pi over 3. OK, and then to find the Cartesian co coordinates, the x coordinate would be r cos of the angle. So that would be two, uh, 5 times pi over 3. And the y coordinate would be um, 5 sine pi over 3. OK, and that would give the values 2.5 rounded off and 3.4.33. Now, this geogebra app looks quite good because you can change the length of the line. OK, so now it's 6. I can make it 7 if I wanted to. OK, and everything will change with it. And we could change the angle so we can go into this quadrant. Just be careful when you're calculating this quadrant because it's easier sometimes to calculate this angle here first and then do pi uh, minus pi arc tan of 6.929 and ignore the fact that the uh, x coordinate is negative. That will give you that value of pi in this case, okay? And then when we go uh, round into other coordinates quadrants here, okay, so this one's okay because you can actually, because uh, arc tan is defined from uh, minus pi to pi, so you can actually get the right answer from that one. But if you go into the uh, third quadrant here, okay, you have to be a little bit careful because you're going to have to then consider it to be minus pi plus this angle here. Okay, and this angle here would be arc tan of 5.2 at the moment uh, divided by 4.68. You can just completely ignore the negative signs. Okay, and that will give you the correct answer. All right, so anyhow, this is an applet. It will be included in the notes of the uh, video for you to play around with so to get a feeling for polar coordinates and Cartesian coordinates, which you already know. But what you've got to be able to do is convert one to the other and, and back again. OK, I hope you've understood. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Like I said, the GeoGebra applet will be in the notes of this video. Thank you very much for watching.